Yes, my thing. Never know what And it flows to the Lord's valley. The blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose. It will never lose. It's palm. And it reaches to the high, highest mountain. Then it flows to the lowest valley. The blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose. It will never lose its power. Father, we thank you, we bless you. O many potent, O many science, O many presence, God, we exalt your name. You are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Baba, we thank you because it's another day. We thank you for the strength that you have given us to be here today. Father, now God, take control of now God. Father, let your word, Lord of now God, penetrate in the heart of your children today. In the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you. Have your way today in this service. Let chains be broken. Let all of now God. Your strength be restored to those that are weak, oh Lord. Take control, oh now God. You got the whole world in your hands, oh Lord. Father, now God, every pestilence that fly by day, oh Lord, now God. By night, oh Lord, now God. By noon, oh Lord. Father, now God, we place the blood of Jesus above everything. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Good morning, bless sister. God bless you. Let's share today. Is going to be so powerful. Praise the Lord. Today is going to be powerful as we come in. Let's share to our friends, to our groups. Hallelujah. Let's share, let's share so that they can join us today because God has something. God wants to break a chain. God wants to set somebody free. Hallelujah. God wants somebody to know to know that he is the king of kings. He is the lord of Lord. He is omnipotent, omniscience, and omnipresent God. Father, have your way today. Hallelujah. There is a song. I know, sister, I don't know. I just have this song in my spirit. The blood that Jesus shed for me Way back on Calvary The blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose his power. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's start to share so that we invite our great woman of God, Minister Adina, so that she can come and take, uh, take uh, over the service for worship. So I'm sharing. I'm sharing. So let's share. Let's share in our group. That's what I'm doing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let's share in our pages in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Okay, let me invite Stardina so that she take over. Then all of us can do the rest. Hallelujah. Start. Sis, I'm inviting you. Is the volume? Can you hear me so loud? Because I want us to prepare because sometimes they say the volume is going down. So let's see. The system is loud. So, okay, I'm inviting you, sis. Hallelujah. Mm. Can you invite my Okay, sis is connecting. Hallelujah. Hello, good morning, good day, good afternoon mm, to every one of you. <laughs> Merry Christmas in advance. Thank to you. Season's greeting and Merry Christmas and a Happy New when it comes. The Lord is good. Yes. The All Lord the is time. faithful. Yes, Lord. It's a pleasure to be alive. It's just a joy to be alive and know that mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. only by mm -hmm. the grace of God. Like you said, Amen. by the blood, 
I woke up with that song in my spirit too. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That's not the song that was mm-hmm. singing. That was true at this morning. I don't hear that song in my spirit. Then I just pick up my pen, the normal way I pick up my pen, and that's just how the message comes back. Praise the Lord. Wow. So, yes. Saints of God, are you ready? Let's go into the presence yeah, of God. Father, we welcome you. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we lift you up. Father, we are grateful. We want to express our gratitude. We want to express our love we want to express our devotion to you because you deserve it we are here we were created to worship we were created to lift you higher above every other throne every other kingdom Mm -hmm. because we know god you are in control at the end of the day you hold the world in your hands you hold your children in your hands we thank you for your blood we thank you for your sacrifice oh god we just thank you because you are good you are good and your record is good we bless your name father god I want to sing some praises to the Lord before we go into this special song. Mm-hmm. I will lift up Jesus higher. I will lift up his name higher. Oh, Jehovah, Alpha, Omega. I will lift up his name higher. I will lift up Jesus higher. higher. I will lift up his name higher. Oh, Jehovah, Alpha, Omega. I will lift up his name higher. I will lift up Shiloh higher. Yes, Lord, I will lift up Jesus higher. Oh, Jehovah, Alpha, Omega, I will lift up his name higher. Oh, Jehovah, Alpha, Omega, let us lift up his name higher. Hallelujah. I can remember when we used to sing this one in the worship group and the drums mm-hmm. were playing. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this power, is a powerful power. song. Don't worry, that time is coming again. Amen. That time is coming again. That will Amen. Be to the point that we cannot sit on our, we cannot stand on our feet. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. I will bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. He has done great things. He has done great things. Oh, yes. He has done great things. Hallelujah. He has done great things. Bless his holy hallelujah father we appreciate you not because our lives are so great and because we 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 are rich or or because we have a lot we appreciate you we worship you because of who you are because of who you are god we come here to listen to inquire to hear what you have for us today and we want to know you to let you know we are listening we are grateful we thank you for your blood your blood speaks better things for us your blood redeems us your blood has healed us your blood is our deliverance your blood is our hope and we bless you we appreciate you i'm going to sing a special song the blood will never lose its power hallelujah It reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valleys. Hallelujah. Whether you're on the mountain or in the valley, the blood speaks a better thing for you. The blood that Jesus. 
Jesus, we appreciate him. Oh, God is so great. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. That gives me strength from day to day. Hallelujah. From day to day, every minute, every moment. Oh, my God. God's got me every minute, every moment from day to day. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. Be blessed. Be blessed today. This this, this song. What can separate us now? Nothing but the blood 
What can set us free from sin? Hallelujah. Nothing no. but the blood of Jesus. Yes. And what can make us whole again? Oh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes us white as snow. No other found we know, nothing but the blood Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Father. Bless Thank the Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 I can't wait to hear what the Lord is saying to you today. Yes. Uh, yes. Get yes. ready. Speak. Get ready to learn with it. Get ready Daughter of science, it. come on, speak to the people. Come on, the... come on, come on. Let's <laughs> Hallelujah. Go, let's... Listen, Hallelujah. It's a, it's a la... Listen, this is the last Sunday, yeah? Before Christmas, right? Yeah? Yes. So many people uh -huh. we always talk about, uh, uh, oh, Christmas, the bed, the bed. So I, I, I was just trying to lean there, and the Holy Spirit said, no, the blood oh, yeah. is greater and the blood is greater mm. than the bed. Oh, yes. The blood <laughs> is greater than the bed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the blood, the blood, blood is a spirit. My God, let me not go in now. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go. go. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. People have to let me know if the volume is loud because sometimes we're having this technical problem. My husband, how is the volume? It's good. Sis, please let me know the volume, how it's going with you. A lot of people are complaining about the volume of this program, so I want to know how it's going. Praise the Lord. If it's going, let me know so that we can start. Today, 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 today. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, things are going to happen in your life because when it comes to the blood of Jesus, when it comes to us speaking about the blood, chains break without us doing anything about it chains break without us doing anything about it hallelujah merry christmas my brothers and sisters merry christmas in advance and a beautiful blessed miraculous filled with great testimonies next a new year that is coming your way hallelujah praise the lord today I pray that every word that is going to come out of my mouth, may the Lord use my mouth to speak. May it be of the Lord. Everything that I've written down that is not of God, may I not speak it. May the word that is coming to your heart today, may it bring blessings to you. May it bring deliverance to you. May it bring healings to you. May it bring a, a, a fruitfulness to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Father, use me. Use me, use my mouth, use my hands, use my eyes, use my totality, every vessel in me. Use it, O Lord, now God, to speak to your kings and queens, to speak to your little gods, because you call us little gods. You say, ye are gods. Father, may they receive it today and run with it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. I mean, I need the light, please. God bless you. Honey. Please, can you hear me to on the light, please? It's dark here. I'm feeling dark. I can't see what I've written down. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. God bless you all. God bless you. No. Mm -mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me just leave the light off it. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Let me see if I can use this one to say it out. 
Hallelujah. Yeah, nice, good. God bless you all. Our topic today is the speaking blood. The speaking blood. Yes. Today, the topic, what God is telling you, he said, the speaking blood. You can, we can put it like that, like this, the speaking blood of Jesus. But I just put it, the speaking blood. That was how I got it. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you all. The speaking blood, that is the topic. Today, the Lord is talking to us about the speaking blood of Jesus. And this is called the speaking blood. He's talking about the blood of Jesus and the blood is a speaking blood. The blood of Jesus speaks. The blood of Jesus speaks. It is speaking. It has spoken and is still going to speak. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus is speaking for me. The blood of Jesus is speaking in my situation. The blood of Jesus is speaking for you. The blood of Jesus is speaking in your situation. The blood of Jesus is speaking for your family. The blood of Jesus is speaking for your, your, your siblings. The blood of Jesus is speaking for everything that concerns you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The blood of Jesus speaks. Hallelujah. God says the blood speaks. And every blood is a spirit. I don't know if you got that. Every blood, whether it's a human, it's a spirit. Every blood in us, our blood, as a spirit. I'll bring you to that place. Every blood is a spirit. So the spirit, the blood speaks, which means the spirit of that person, the spirit in the, the, in the blood is speaking. Praise the Lord. Every blood speaks. Every blood that is spilled, every person that is killed, their blood speaks. It is for vengeance or for forgiveness. The blood of Abel mm -hmm, was speaking vengeance. My brother killed me. Vengeance. I want vengeance. I want vengeance. That was all the blood of Abel was calling for. But the blood of Jesus speak forgiveness, speak grace, speak mercy, speak love, speak unity. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the blood that speaks good things on our behalf. The blood of Jesus speaks good things on your behalf. The blood of Jesus speak good thing on the behalf of your family, on the behalf of your children. Hallelujah. The blood speaks. Let's go to the book of Hebrews 12, verse 24. He says, you have come to Jesus, the one who mediates the new covenant between God and and people and to the sprinkled blood which speaks of forgiveness instead of crying out for vengeance like the blood of abel we have been brought to christ we christ brought us to to god hallelujah he reconciled us with our maker so that the wrath of our maker will not come to us. So instead of God's vengeance, the blood of Jesus is speaking. The blood of Jesus is speaking. God is saying, oh, then look at what they are doing. Let the wrath of God come. But Jesus is there. His blood is saying, mercy, forgiveness, mercy, forgiveness, love, Lord, mercy, mercy. The blood speaks. The blood of Jesus set us free from sins and sorrow. Yes, yes. God bless you, woman of God. 
The blood speak. The blood of human speak. So nobody created his soul and he has no right to take it. That is why the blood that they spill, innocent blood, they speak vengeance. But the blood of Jesus that they spill on the cross of Calvary was speaking mercy, love, and forgiveness. There is a song that comes to my spirit. Said, mm. I'll pick up the song again if I remember the song. Yeah, I'll remember. It said, yeah. Precious Jesus, I thank you for the blood. Precious Jesus, Jesus, I thank you for your body broken for me. I remember all you done for me. Your powerful sacrifice and victory. I remember all you done for me. Oh my God, I worship you today. I worship you today. The blood speaks. The blood of Jesus speaks and the blood of human speaks. Hallelujah. The blood of Abel was crying out. Lord, avenge for me. Avenge for me. Avenge for me. Was talking to God. So which means it's true. The blood, see, they speak. Every human blood is a spirit and they speaks. Hallelujah. He was calling out. We all know the story of Cain and Abel. Abel's blood was calling out for vengeance. Blood speaks. The blood of Abel was telling God, I need vengeance. But when Jesus was crucified, but when Jesus was crucified on the cross, all the blood of Jesus was saying, all the blood of Jesus was calling out of was mercy. The blood of Jesus was calling out for mercy. He was calling out for love. He did not call out for revenge. Rather, he went, he went down to the hell. To the, he, Jesus, instead of Jesus to say, oh, they killed me, and oh, Father, revenge, he went down to hell to pick up the keys that belongs to us. He went down to hell to pick everything that belongs to us. He did not call for revenge. He called for our prosperity. He called for our uh, healing. He called for everything that, per that pertains us to live. My God, my God, the blood is speaking. The speaking blood of Jesus. My God, Jesus did not go down there. He went down there to, to, for nothing. He went down there to pick the key, collected the keys to our freedom. He was telling God, I don't need revenge, but I want forgiveness for them. I want freedom for them. I want protection for them. I want healing for them. I want goodness for them. I want love for them. I want purity for them. I want conception them. Concession for them. ETC. That is the only thing God was, the, the blood of Jesus was calling out for. For me and you, for my sake and for your sake. Jesus went down to the pit of hell. Instead of him to be there, feeling sorry, what did I do? Why did they kill me? I didn't do anything. He said to Satan, give me the keys that you are using as revenge. Give me the keys that you are risen 
for condemnation. Give me the keys that you are using for unforgiveness. Give it to me. He picked up those keys and he turned them into forgiveness. He turned those keys into love. He turned those keys into mercy. He turned those keys into grace. Turn those keys into our freedom. The speaking blood of Jesus. He was speaking better things for us. Instead of him to speak, so why did they do this to me? Why, why, why was I kid? He started speaking goodness for us. Oh, my God. The blood of Jesus speaks goodness. For me and you. Praise the Lord. The speaking blood of Jesus. Jesus did not go there for any other thing. He knew if he goes with anger. He knew if he goes with hurt. He, knew, he, he knows if he go with pain. My God. The key that he will collect will be key of vengeance. The key that he will collect will be key of bitterness. The key that he will collect will be the key of death. But he went down to earth. Down deep there. And he said, give me the key. And when he collected, oh, you see, Satan thought he came to collect the key so that he would go and start calling for vengeance. He made a mistake. He didn't know that this was the son of God. In all his glory and wisdom. He went down there and said, Give me the keys. I'm going back to earth to call my father in heaven that they have killed me. But he did not know that Jesus was coming back to say, Father, take, forgive, love, purify them, set them free. But if it's the blood of humans, avenge me. You know, God said to Cain, the blood of your brother is calling out of, for me. The earth that you used to kill your brother, the blood of your brother that was swallowed by the earth is calling for vengeance for me. My God. But the blood of Jesus is telling me, forgive. It's telling me, love them. He's telling me, set them free. What you say, that is what your father will perform. Can call for vengeance. Christ called for freedom and forgiveness and love and protection. Hallelujah. He ordered the keys and turned the keys to our favor. He ordered the keys and demanded for the keys and turned the keys to our favor. Every key that Jesus has ordered, has collected from the pit of hell for your freedom. May the blood of Jesus start to use those keys for your freedom, for, your, for whatever you want, for whatever you need. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. The blood of Jesus speak better things than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of human. Yes. Good things happen when we call the blood of Jesus. Great things happen when we use the blood of Jesus. This speaking blood of Jesus. God knows blood speaks. That is why he did not allow Abraham to sacrifice Isaac. He knows if God, if Abraham has spilled the blood of Isaac, Isaac will call for vengeance. My God, God did not allow Abraham to spill blood because blood speaks. Blood speaks. 
If Abraham has spilled the blood of Isaac, the blood of Isaac would, has, would have called out for vengeance towards, against his father. He would say, God, why did my father kill me? It was the, 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 the sword, the knife was in Abraham's hand. Hallelujah. It is he that spilled the blood. Yeah, that replaced it. He that spilled the blood has to replace it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God did not allow Abraham to spill the blood. The book of Genesis. Instead of Abraham to spill the blood, God provided a way. God provided for Abraham. God made a way for Abraham. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the book of Genesis 22, 10 to 13. God did not want Abraham to spill blood. If Abraham has spilled the blood, my God, my God, my God, my God. Mm -hmm. If Abraham has spilled the blood of the son, the son would have called that for vengeance. Would have called that for vengeance. Say, oh, my father killed me. I need vengeance. Hallelujah. But God did not allow that. God did not allow. My God. God did not allow Abraham to spill the blood of his son. Because he does not want the blood to call out. Say, oh, my father killed me. My father killed me. I'm trying to use it. NIV. I always use that. Uh, Genesis. Yeah, let's go there. Genesis 10 says, New Living Tra International Translation said, New Living Tra Translation, and Abraham picked up the knife to kill his son as sacrifice. Hallelujah. Verse 11. But the angel of the Lord called out to Abraham from heaven. Abraham, Abraham. Yeah, I am, Abraham replied. And the angel said, do not lay your hand on the boy. He said, do not do anything to him. Now, I know that you fear God because you have not withhold from me your son, your only son. Praise the Lord. Abraham looked up and therein, taking he saw a ram caught by his horn. He went over, took the ram and sacrificed it's as a burnt offering instead of his son. God did not want Abraham to spill his son's blood. The blood is speaking. The blood of Jesus is speaking for somebody here today. God knows that the blood of Isaac we call for vengeance. That is why he allowed Abraham to use the ram. He brought out the ram. He's all-knowing God. He's all-seeing God. And he knows you. He sees you. He knows what you need. And that is why he's telling you today, the speaking blood of Jesus is all you need. Continue to call on the blood of Jesus that speak better things than the blood of Abel. Hallelujah. It's calling out. There is power in the blood of all humans. The most of all humans' blood calls for vengeance. Every human blood calls for vengeance. And it is only the blood of the Lamb, Jesus, that calls for mercy, love, and redemption. Yes, it is only the blood of Jesus that calls for forgiveness. It is only the blood of Jesus. You, oh my God, my God. Just use that as an example. Cain and Abel. Cain didn't know, he didn't know that God saw what he was doing. But it was Abel's blood that speaks. Father, look at what my brother did to me. Father, my brother have killed me. Father, my brother have done this to me. Father, I was supposed to live to 120 years. My brother cut it short. I want vengeance. I want vengeance. Hallelujah. 
But when Jesus was killed, he said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Father, mercy for them. Father, please mercy is the message that, oh my God, before Jesus came, remember in the Old Testament, you sin, you die. The soul that sin that must die. But when Jesus came, after the, Jesus was crucified, after he picked up the key from the pit of hell, he came, he said, Lord, Father, they didn't know what they were doing. I have picked the key and I've turned it into mercy. I have turned the keys into love. I have turned the keys. Have mercy. Look at me. Don't look at them. Look at the keys I brought. Look at the victory I made. That is why most of us, we are alive. Praise the Lord. The speaking blood. The blood of Jesus is speaking. It is very important for us to use the blood of Jesus. My God. God allowed Christ to be sacrificed so we can live. The power in the blood that you know, there was a king in the Bible. I want, to, I want to talk about a story. There was a king in the Bible. He was fighting the Israel, the king of Moab or so. He was fighting the Israelites. Let's go to the book of 2 Kings. 2 Kings 3. Let's go there. Yes. He was fighting with the Israelites. Amen. The Israelites were beating him. They was, they, the Israelites was about to overthrow his kingdom. Hallelujah. He didn't know what to do. What did he do? He sacrificed his first son. That was supposed to be the nest of king. My God. And the battle turned around against the Israelites. The speaking blood. The father said, oh, I know that the blood speaks. Let me take my son and sacrifice my son so that I can win the battle. And he sacrificed his son. And the blood of the son started speaking for vengeance. Started saying, oh my God, my father killed me because of this war. My father killed me so that we will win. I want to avenge. And God said, Israelite, turn your back and go home. The speaking blood. Every blood speaks. Every blood speaks. Learn to use the blood of Jesus for your situations. Learn to believe in the blood of Jesus. He offered his son. The blood of the son of the king. Reacted and the Israelites started going back. My God. If the blood of the son of the king could react, what about the blood of Jesus? Let's, let's just do it like that. Let's go like this. If the blood of the son of the king reacted like during war, Israelites were for the, for, oh my God, my God, my God. The Israelites, were, they were for God, right? Every battle they go, they, they will win. They must surely win because God was with them. God was with the Israelites. So every battle they go, they win. They won. How come they went for this battle? And when the king sacrificed his son, the battle turned against the Israelites. That the, the, the Israelites now pack up and they went back home. The speaking blood. Yes. The speaking blood. Hallelujah. Yeah. If the blood could react like that, what about the blood of Jesus? What about the blood of Jesus? The blood of Jesus is for us. It's not against us. The blood of Jesus is for us. It's not against us. The speaking blood. The speaking blood of Jesus. 
He's still speaking up to today. He's speaking mercy on our behalf. He's speaking unity on our behalf. He's speaking freedom on our behalf. He's speaking love on our behalf. Things the blood of Jesus did for us. I just jot down some points. There are a lot of points. The blood of Jesus is our redemption. I'll just read the Bible verse out. I don't, I will not go there. First Peter 1, 18 to 19. The blood of Jesus is for redemption for the lost souls. He sacrificed for souls to be won. Hallelujah. The blood paid our debt. Hebrews 9, 28. The blood justify us. Romans 5, 9. The blood of Jesus forgives us. Ephesians 1, 7. The blood of Jesus spare us from God's wrath. Romans 5, 9. My God, again. The blood of Jesus cleanse us. John 1, 7. The blood of Jesus gives us victory. Revelation 12, 8. 11. The blood of Jesus is still speaking life to all situations. Mm -hmm. See, today, yes, I will call it out again so that you can write it out. Number one, the blood of Jesus is our redemption. 1 Peter 1, 18. Number two, the blood of Jesus pays our debt. Hebrew 928. Number three, the blood of Jesus justify us. Romans 5, 9. The blood of Jesus forgives us. Ephesians 1, 7. Number five, the blood of Jesus spare us from God's wrath. Romans 5, 9 again. Number six, the blood of Jesus cleanse us. John 1, 7. The blood number seven now. The blood of Jesus gives us victory. Revelation 12 11. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The speaking blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is still speaking. In every situation, everything that don't want to move, that don't want you to move to your destiny, purpose. Call on the blood of Jesus to speak. Blood of Jesus, speak for me. I need to move forward. Blood of Jesus, speak for me. I need to win this contract. Blood of Jesus, speak for me. Oh, a lot of people have rise up against me. Blood of Jesus, speak for me. Oh, every door has been closed for me. Blood of Jesus, speak for me. The blood of Jesus is still speaking to today. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You know, there are some pastors that will tell you the blood of Jesus is only to bring us only to relationship with God. After that finish, the blood of Jesus cannot do any other thing. It's a lie. There was a program I went years back. Years back, some, some person they say, Oh, don't play though the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus is not working for you anymore. Only the blood of Jesus bring you relationship with God. No, the blood of Jesus is not only bringing us to relationship with God. The blood of Jesus is still working against things that are working against us. You speak it, it will happen. If that king can sacrifice his son and the world turn back, was that for relationship? That was to avert war. So the blood of Jesus that you pronounce upon your life can avert wars, destruction that are coming to you. There was a testimony a lady gave one time. She said she used to be a witch. I'm talking about white, white, white young lady. I was in the program. He said Christians don't know how powerful the blood of Jesus is. They don't know. It is only that know, those that know and use it that they are under the blood. He said they used to go to people's houses. They will come and visit you. They can go to your toilet. I want to use your toilet. They will lay incantations there. But if it's somebody that has been covered with the blood, they cannot because that place has been saturated with the blood of Jesus. 
He said they will go to uh, playground. He said, don't blame your children when they are becoming too stubborn. He said they will go there to cast spells of stubbornness upon the children. He said, but if those kids that come to come uh, to play there are children that are under the blood, he said, it will not affect them. Use the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is not only for the relationship. The blood of Jesus did not bring us only, only for relationship. Then, oh, he brought me to Jesus. I will never use the blood anymore. No. The blood of Jesus is still speaking better things for us. He's still speaking for us. If it is only relationship that he brought us for, then why did he go to her? Why did the Bible say he went there to pick up the keys? Which key did he pick up? The, even after he came, he started telling Satan, the Lord is against you. When Satan said, fall for me, bow before me, I give you all this. He said, me? <laughs> You don't know what I have, what I have taken from you already. I am the king of kings, the lord of lords. You are under my feet. I have the key for redemption. I have the key for freedom. I have the key for grace. I have the key for mercy. I have the key for fruitfulness. I have the key. That is why he didn't talk too much. He didn't, he didn't start telling the devil, do you know who I am? I, I always tell people, I said, those that have, don't speak. Those that have, don't show off. I just bought this car now. I am this one now. Oh, do you, you know, don't you know there are some people hmm, that have, when they go to, to programs or this thing, they don't spray. They put money in envelope and give to you. Yes. Most of them. Why some of them that are shy, that they don't want to put five euro, they will be shy, okay. But major, majority of people that have, they don't shout. Jesus knew who he, who he was. He already knew that Satan was under his feet, that everything that Satan is talking about belongs to him. Hallelujah. The blood is still speaking for us. It's not only for relationship with God. Call on the blood of Jesus. Call the blood to speak. It was the blood that marked the Israelites in Egypt. Before the spirit of death came to sweep the land. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. We have, oh my God. Let's go to the book of Exodus. Let's go to the book of it. The blood of Jesus is still speaking. Exodus 12. Mm -hmm. Are you receiving it? Mm. Praise the Lord. Oh, the blood of Jesus is still speaking. Let nobody deceive you and tell you that the blood of Jesus is finished only for relationship. No, no. The blood of Jesus is not only for relationship. Mm -mm. The blood of Jesus is not only for relationship. The blood of Jesus is for relationships with God. So it reconciles us with God. He fights for us. He protects us. He delivers us when we call on the blood. A lot, a lot. Continue using, calling the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Exodus uh, 12. Praise the Lord. I always like to use uh, this thing. That's on uh, this uh, human Bible. It gives me the whole uh, book that I need. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Exodus 12, yeah, verses 13 says, Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. The blood will be a sign for you. Yes. No, let's start from 12. He said, On that same night, the angel is the one speaking. I will pass through Egypt and struck down every firstborn of the people and animals, my God. And I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. Verse 13 says, the blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. No destruction or plague will touch you when I struck 
Egypt. The blood of Jesus is still speaking. Better things than the blood of Abel. This was the blood of Jesus in the Old Testament. So in the New Testament, yes. the blood is still working for us. Yes. This blood was to protect them in the Old Testament. It was not to reconcile them. It was to protect them. So the blood is also for protection, not only for reconciliation. Reconciliation, sorry about that. Praise the Lord. The blood is still speaking. The blood is speaking. We have to still believe that the blood of Jesus is still speaking. Hallelujah. It's still speaking. That is why it is good we continue to do our holy communion. The book of Luke 22, 19 to 20. He said we should break the, the body. Of Jesus, we should drink the blood. He said, Do it often as you can. If it's only for oh my god, if the blood is only for reconcil reconciliation, yeah, to reconcile Lord to God alone. Why did Jesus say again Hallelujah. when he came when he was breaking the bread? Why did he tell them again, continue doing this even when I'm not here? This is my body, and this is my blood. Why did he say that? So the blood of Jesus is not only to reconcile us, it's to continue to heal us, continue to protect us, deliver us. There are things we don't know, but the blood sees and knows. So the blood is speaking for us. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus is still speaking. The blood of Jesus is speaking to you daily. He's speaking for you daily. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus will not stop speaking. Mm -hmm. Remember the song that Sister Stadina sang? He said, uh, The blood that Jesus shed on the cross, he said, It will never, never lose his power. Mm -hmm. It reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley, which means whatever mountain that is too high, the blood of Jesus can melt it down. Whatever valley that is too low, the blood of Jesus can pull it down. He can make it smooth. Praise the Lord. Keep using the blood of Jesus. Keep calling on the blood of Jesus. All the blood of Jesus. All the blood of Jesus. All the blood of Jesus, he was she white as snow. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set us free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set us free. Hallelujah. The blood is still speaking for you. The blood is still speaking for your family. The blood is still speaking for your children. The blood is speaking for your ministry. The blood is speaking for your household. The blood is speaking for your union. Hallelujah. Learn to use the blood of Jesus. Learn to call on the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. That speak better things than the blood of Abel. Abel. I call upon the blood of Jesus. That speak good things. The blood of mercy. The blood that speaks grace. The blood that speaks protection. The blood that speaks finances. He said, he said, in now he even the debt, you know, he paid our debt. He paid it. Our finances, he paid, he paid it. He paid for it, that we will not be poor anymore. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus is speaking for you. The blood of Jesus is speaking for that situation. You cannot say, oh, only this situation that, that we apply the blood of Jesus. No, apply the blood of Jesus in every situation. Did you hear? In Egypt, he said, mark your old house. He did not say mark some houses. 
He even told, oh my God, if you read that Bible verse, he told them the kind of food they should make on that day. Yes, in Genesis, in, in the book of uh, uh, Exodus, in Exodus 12, if you start from, uh, let's say you start from 8 down to that 13, yeah? He told them, oh my God, God love us so much. God love us so much. He told them the animal to kill. After you kill the animal, he told them how to cook the animal. He, he said, don't cook it. He said, roast the animal. <laughs> he said, you need to roast that animal that you have cooked. Mm -hmm. After you roast the animal that you have cooked, he said, wear your sandals. Tuckle your belt. Sit and eat it. Make sure you finish it. If you don't finish it and it comes the next day, don't just boil it and eat it again. No. Roast it again and eat it. The blood that speaks. Was it not the blood of the animal they mark on the doorpost? That was not. The blood speaks. When the angel of death came, they look at the post. They could not, they pass by. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The speaking blood. If you've not gotten anything from all this year that is, is, is a, you know, it's going to a year now. This this December make it at least at least only this December make it a year that I've started ministering. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you have not received anything that we have been sharing here, receive this one. Hold it tight and run with it. The blood is speaking good things for me. The blood is speaking good things on my behalf. When I fall down, the blood speaks mercy for me. Lord, have mercy on them. Lord, have mercy on them. The blood is still speaking for you. Let nobody tell you that the blood is only for reconciliation. Oh, Father, wisdom, 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 wisdom. I pray wisdom for your children. I pray understanding. He said, my people are perished for lack of understanding. You don't understand it. The way you understand it, Father, you know, I always say, Father, I don't know it all. Holy Spirit, explain it to me. Yes. Talk to me the way I will understand. Yes. Said, the blood is still speaking. The blood is speaking mercy. Don't think, oh, I, I've gone wrong. Call on the blood, mercy on me. Help me, Lord. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Every situation that becomes so tight, things that you don't understand, apply the blood of Jesus. Jesus said we should continue to do that. Call on the name, the blood of Jesus. The two names are combined together, the blood and Jesus. Uh, you see how powerful it is? He said, at the mention of what? The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every knee must bow. Then he said, when you now apply the blood of Jesus, the blood, the reconciliation, and the power, the protection and the power. He protects and he gives you power to accomplish it. Praise the Lord. The speaking blood of Jesus. The speaking blood of Jesus is speaking for me and my household. That is the word for us today. Write it boldly. I always love those words. I, I jot them down because the way we are going very soon we are going to be we are going to be writing some things eh hallelujah and i know a lot god is going to speak to a lot of you the speaking blood of jesus is speaking for me and my household is speaking better things for us all you know when i heard that 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 that, that talk that that word it greased my spirit you know the day i came home i was like the blood of Jesus 
It's only for reconciliation. I don't know. I was troubled in my spirit. Later on, me and my sister started hope. We sat down, we prayed, and we talked about the blood. And I continue. I never stop. I continue to use the blood of Jesus. If not for the blood. You that is here looking at me, standing, listening, coming later to listen. If not for the blood of Jesus, we will not be alive. My God, my God. God. We, will, we, will, we, will, we will not be here. A lot of us with this epidemic going around, this COVID-19, you know, those that are, that, that are having it, it's not because our immune system is stronger. The blood, the blood is speaking protection and healing for you. The blood is speaking better things for you and your household. Whoever that the pestilence that fly by day and by night, that the enemy has sent from the pit of hell, the blood, through the blood, you will prevail. I said, through the blood, you will be victorious. That's what I don't hear in my spirit. That's how my song, that's how my song is in. Through the blood, Stadina Stabella, hear that song. We will prevail. Through the blood, we will be victorious. Yes, through the blood. You that is listening to me, you will prevail. Oh, oh, through the blood, you will be victorious. Yes, we will prevail and we will be victorious. That's how my song came. Praise the Lord. So I, my songs always come like that. Hallelujah. So Stadina and, Star, uh, and Sabella, that's for you guys to work on. The blood of Jesus is speaking for you and your family. No man, I always pray this prayer, no man born of woman can stop what God has started in your life. Let nobody tell you the blood of Jesus mm, is only for it. Always call on the blood of Jesus, my brothers and my sisters. The blood of Jesus protects your home. The blood of Jesus protects you and your children. The, you, know, you don't go with your children everywhere now, do you? You know, that's why some people that are very protective of their children. Oh, no, don't tell my children. Oh, my children don't eat this. Oh, my children don't go this. Oh. <laughs> you don't go everywhere. When they're in the classroom, do you know what is happening? You don't know what is happening. Oh, my God. The blood is speaking better things. The blood is speaking for you. He's speaking for your family. He's speaking for your children. And he's speaking for your generation. The blood of Jesus. Jesus did not just die alone for reconciliation. No, it cannot be. It is not only death. Look at the, the, the examples he gave to us. A king, a war was coming, and a king killed his first son. And the war turned back to the Israelites, to the children of God. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Look at Cain and Abel. Abel's blood I was calling for vengeance a best bear was calling for the blood there is a spirit in the blood so the blood speaks you know last week sunday we talked about the gates they have eyes and they talk the gates to our home god going to bring that topic back by the grace of god maybe when he's ready we'll bring back that topic but today, he's telling you, the blood of Jesus is speaking for you and your family. Hallelujah. Did you receive it today? Praise the Lord. Let's go into prayer before we open up. Prayer. God bless you all. God bless you all. God just wants you to know today that he is on your case. All you need to do, don't stop calling on the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is not the blood of an animal. 
The blood of Jesus is not the blood of any kind of person, any kind of human being. Why do people sacrifice people when they want to go and make money? Oh my God. The blood. The blood speaks. Said our blood is our words. Yes. When you like your money is your blood. Yes. You sweat for it. You work for it. Praise the Lord. There is power in the blood. And the blood is speaking. Hallelujah. God bless you all for joining us today. Did you receive it? Thank you. God bless you. Today, you are writing the speaking blood of Jesus is speaking for me and my household. The speaking blood of Jesus is speaking for me and my household. Sister Adina and the rest, people write it boldly out so that people can get it right. Praise the Lord. Now let's go into prayer. All you need to say is say amen as I'm saying it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the benefits and provision of the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Only I say amen. Praise the Lord. You can't hear me. He's using the earpiece today. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the blood is speaking good things on our behalf in Jesus' name. Amen. By the blood of Jesus, we declare victory over sin, Satan, and his agents in Jesus' name. Amen. We declare the blood of Jesus over every stubborn situation in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus upon our lives and family in Jesus' name. Amen. We plead the blood of Jesus upon every road and app in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we apply the blood of Jesus over our ministry, business, and careers in Jesus' name. Amen. We overcome Satan by the blood of G by the blood of the Lamb in Jesus' name. We declare the blood of Jesus against every Amen. disease, especially COVID-19 in Jesus' name. We declare the blood of Jesus Amen. upon every marriage upon every broken marriage in Jesus' name. Amen. We speak the blood of Jesus upon every power holding you single in Jesus' Amen. name. We, we speak the blood of Jesus upon every barren situations in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, I prophesy upon your children as you have made us to know that the blood of Jesus is for us and not against us, is to bring us all of Nago into your kingdom all of Nago, but it's also to protect us. It's also to bring things, good things our way. It's also to lo bring love our way, unity and peace our way. Father Nago, I declare this week that is coming, O oh Lord, I declare the blood of Jesus, O oh Lord Nago. Father Nago, let him make a way for that person that the door has been closed, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus bring total healing upon those that are sick right now in the name of Jesus. I prophesy this week that is coming. You that is laying on the bed sick, you will get up and run because the blood of Jesus has spoken for you in the name of Jesus. I prophesy this year that is coming before the year end. The blood of Jesus will speak on your path, your, on the road that you are driving, on the road, on the air, air that you are taking. In the name of Jesus, I speak the blood of Jesus upon every barren situation. The blood of Jesus is speaking fruitfulness to it. In the name of Jesus, every power that has hold us, that is speaking bad, that is prophesying evil against our life. I prophesy good upon your life. In the name of Jesus, where they speak evil, the Bible says we are the children of God who will turn it around. I stand as a child of God. I stand as the child of a prophet. I am a child of the prophet. And I declare prophetically into your life that this week you will run with testimony. You will run with testimonies in Jesus' name I pray. The blood of Jesus 
go with you. The blood of Jesus go before you. The blood of Jesus be with you. In Jesus' name, I prophesy. Amen. Amen and amen. Did you receive it today? God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. God bless you, man of God. God bless you all. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Please, all these things that we always say, and I say you should write, it helps a lot. It helps a lot. Just write it. You can put it in your phone for some time. You know, just put it, always write it in a piece of paper. Just place it somewhere. Let it be your vision board. Make a vision board and be pasting those things on it. It helps a lot. Hallelujah. God bless you. Every Wednesday, we have our prayer meeting. It is, it, it, there are great things happening. There are powerful prayers and testimonies are happening. Don't give up. You know, don't think, oh, uh, I don't know. I have prayed, 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 prayed. I always tell people, you have prayed, prayed, prayed. You are fast, fast, fast. Stop pleading the blood. The blood of Jesus help me. The blood of Jesus come in. The blood of Jesus take over. Yes. The blood of Jesus plead it upon it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. It's only the blood. Every Wednesday, 10 p.m. Uh, Europe time, we are use, we are we are starting the prayer meeting on Zoom. Please, if you are interested, just send me a message and with your number, I will add you to the group. Praise the Lord. And we have our YouTube channel. We are sharing our word there. Please just also uh, subscribe. Uh, send it to people to subscribe so that at least the word of God can reach a lot of people, you know, and uh, we're still working on other things and uh, many things are going to come on very soon because what God want to do through you, through you, this generation, get ready. Don't look, don't look at yourself too small. Please don't look at yourself. Oh, I cannot do it. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday and Merry Christmas in advance. Yeah, we may, we may we might be locked in, but we are not locked out of God. You might be locked in, you are not locked out of God. Even though you have to do your uh, Merry Christmas, yeah, set your table, set it night, make your you know anything you want to do, enjoy it good. Those are in the hospital, they cannot set their trees, they cannot set their table. Ah, let it this Christmas, let it be a Thanksgiving Christmas for you and your family. Praise the Lord. Let this Christmas be a Christmas of thanksgiving for you. Because next year is going to be a year of testimony, thanksgiving, miracle, signs and wonder. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And for those, I don't know, God just want me to pray for those that are preparing to get married. Hallelujah. Father, now God, may your blood speak for them, oh Lord. I pray, oh Lord, now God, that you will speak for them. I pray whatever they need, oh Lord, now God that you will provide it for them. I pray all of now, God, for those that are planning to marry now and the enemy is about to cause havoc. But I, I pray the blood of Jesus speak for them in the name of Jesus. Go and get married and come back with testimony. In Jesus' name I pray. Love you all. God bless you. Oh, Pastor Victor, thank you for joining us. Oh, Brother Henry, God bless you. You don't tell. Hallelujah. All right. Bye. Love you all. Can I see a heart of love before we go? We always do that. Let's see some hearts of love. Praise the Lord. And please continue to pray for me and my husband and continue to pray for the group that God will continue to use us. The Bible says, iron sharpens iron so that we'll sharpen each other. I love